Gentlemen, we're done here. Take me to Cold Steel. She had just given me an OD of Valkyr. I could feel green fire eating my brains. They turned to steam. They did a fade on me. I'd never had a chance. The witch had got me just as sure as if she put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. The shadows rushed me. Bruised mugshot faces hungry for revenge. They knew my weak spots and closed in for the kill. The floor turned into a vortex of green blood. I fell. The flesh of fallen angels. <sighs> Who's there? Max? Max, is that you? Max? Where are you, Max? Please. No, please, Max, no. I'm sorry. Please, no, Max, no. Max? Where are you, Max? Please. The letter was staring at me. Not really. The weird piece of paper looked dangerous. Why does the game not let me? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh my fucking god. Uh, this fucking part makes me want to shoot fucking frogs in the mouth. That's what this part makes me want to do. Guess what? I don't make it. <laughs> this fucking level design is so shit. Don't slide over. Oh my fucking god. That's not how inertia works in real life. He doesn't allow me to jump, by the way. Oh my god. Doesn't allow me to jump again.
I don't need to jump again, yay. No jump for me. No jump for me. No jump for me. Holy fuck, dude. Nope. I didn't save it there, I didn't save it. <sighs> oh, no jump. <sighs> Can you please just let me do a basic game function? Oh my fucking Christ. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Just slide right off the platform, will ya? Go for it, man. You do what you want to do. This is your video game. I can't, I can't jump at all. Ever. What the fuck? Look it! What am I supposed to do here? Literally can't do anything. I can't- I can't, Why can't I jump? I don't- Yep. Just go right over the edge, you fucking idiot. I can't jump. I don't get what I'm supposed to do here. I can't. I Holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy Wow, that's simple. Look at that. Fucking stupid, man. No, Took me a total of 20 minutes to do this fucking you section. Max, something happened at the office today. A strange memo. Something about Vikings. Bonnie, I gotta run. You can tell me all about it this evening. Have a nice day, darling. The bullet holes were rubies on her chest, blood glowing on her ivory skin. She was so beautiful. The killer was smiling. The flesh of fallen angels. Slowly, the green nightmare faded, leaving dark stains on my soul that would never come off. I felt like flatlining. I was all shook up. I woke up in a cold sweat, sick and tired to the bone, lying in a puddle of my own puke. The hag had said, take me to cold steel before it had all gone crazy. It was a clue. The only one I had.
It took me forever to crawl back to my feet and hit the road, but when I did, I drove straight to Cold Steel Foundry outside the city. There was a whole lot of action around the place for a freezing winter night. Trucks coming and going, men running. I had the drop on the mystery witch. She thought I was dead. I was on her blind side. I was going in. The bad trip had put me in a crazy mood, adrenaline pumping through my aching veins. Staggering on the mill roof in ice and snow and wild wind, I was a ninja. My kung fu was strong. I wasn't hitting anybody. At best, I was Superman and Kryptonite about to fall through a skylight, down to where it was all going down. A half-abandoned industrial area in the middle of nowhere. The factory was a perfect front for any number of illegal activities. In the belly of the plant, molten metal boiled and bubbled like a witch's brew. I just have my pistol. Excellent. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Snow fell like confetti over the Devil's Parade. The storm was anything but over. How did that hit me? I'm dead.
Yeah, totally. Stupid fucking game. Yeah. Awesome, I'm so glad you literally came out of nowhere. Talking military lingo could mean only one thing. They were getting ready to destroy the evidence and vanish into the night. I was so close. The hidden truths were just around the corner. Operation, paperwork and all. Merchandise missing again. A chemist had tried to smuggle it out for his own private party. Locked him up in cell B7 and D6's old test facility to wait for proper processing. I was close enough to hear the secrets, just beyond the next doorway.
Really now? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, bullshit. You didn't hit that. That's not what I meant to do. Ah. Why does he like stop midair? I don't fucking get it. Yep, yeah, go ahead, roll. Roll, Max Payne. Roll, Max Payne! It's gotta be where you're supposed to go, right? I mean, there's no... There's nowhere else to go. That door doesn't open. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Another prologue chapter. Here we come, dude. There we go. Oh! Ah, this game frustrates the shit. Yep, go ahead. Just sprint right off without hitting the space button. Max Payne. Hello? Okay, great. Get out of this fucking limbo. Okay, just... No, go ahead. You done? So glad you're done. So glad you're done. So glad you're done. So glad I'm playing this old ass game. Oh my god, he slides off. He slides off.
that's not what I wanted to do, Max Payne. Jesus fucking Christ. Fill the control room screens, all but one. An elevator titled D6 on one of the screens, somewhere onwards, has rows of ovens in the core of the plant. There's, there's, oh my god. Holy shit, the fucking lateness of these fucking bullets, man. Hit a shotgun shot before I can do anything. Alright, what am I su supposed to do there? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Hmm. You fucking kidding me? Ugh. 
What the fuck? Awesome. Awesome. What a game. Yeah, of course he hits me when the door's closed, right? I'm getting, like, this close to stop to, like, not playing this game right now. Like, holy fuck. Sense right. the game I had taken on the role of the mythic detective, Bogart as Marlowe, or as Sam Spade going after the Maltese Falcon to unravel all the mysteries. <sighs> Following a path of clues to that final revelation, even if it would take me down to the cold, cavernous depths of a grave. You can't do this! My men are still inside! Do you have any idea why this is called Operation Dead Eyes? Let's do it. Attention all personnel. The self-destruction sequence has been initiated. Evacuate the complex immediately. Repeat. We've got the company. The self-destruction sequence has been initiated. Proceed to the nearest exit immediately. <laughs> See 
Oh? The chemist had been using the workstation when he died. The half-life of the lab rat had ended online. His password blinking on the screen. 665. The neighbor of the beast. Go. Get in. I'll punch you through. After this, you can go. You're a free man. That was the Valkyr case. I don't know if this will. No, oh, it's okay, cool. One of the lab. Top secret. Project Valhalla. U.S. Army. Yggdrasil Network, Valhalla, the otherworldly place in Norse mythology where the bravest heroes spent their afterlife feasting and fighting forever, their wounds miraculously healed night after night. Valkyr, the maidens who chose the most courageous Viking warriors and carried them to Valhalla. 1991, the research objective is to create a chemical substance to enhance the stamina and morale of infantry troops. 1995, Results unsatisfactory. Project cancelled. Someone had decided to continue the sick experiment unauthorized. Project compromised. Data leak. Fix the damage by any means necessary. Security clearance red. Authorized by the project lead. Field test. Double the dosage for all the remaining test subjects. Observe and record the subject's behavior in an urban setting. The drop-off point was my old address in New Jersey. The file dated three years ago. Just when you thought you had reached the deepest depths of horror, it suddenly got worse. How did... Oops, I didn't... Just when you thought you... Whatever. I realized had the project logo on this. The dagger healed woman had come and gone a long time ago. Well, there was nothing more for me here. The bunker's name was acting as a self-fulfilling prophecy. Oh, was this the one I came to? It was. Rip.
piece together a jigsaw and the final picture is you finishing that same puzzle. A mad, green-eyed killer standing behind you. An urban legend come true. The Project Valhalla test subjects had been the mad junkies who had murdered my loved ones. The rest was simple body count math. It all pointed to her. Ms. Valkyr. The factory went up in a fiery inferno behind me. All my leads were dead, turned to smoke and dust. I had lost my way. I hadn't slept in a million years. I felt thin as death. I've been living on an endless supply of weak old donuts. They were fuel for this crazy furnace inside my head. I couldn't remember when I had last seen the sun. I was on a permanent graveyard shift. When the darkness fell, New York City became something else. Any old Sinatra song notwithstanding. Bad things happened in the night, on the streets of that other city, Noir York City. <sighs> I was in an all-night diner, downing cup after cup of coffee that tasted like engine oil, when a new message from BB got me back on the killer track. What the hell happened at Roscoe Street? Maxie, I'm going out on a limb here. We need to talk this through, come up with a plan. 2.30 a.m., the Choir Communications Garage. The more I thought about Alex's murder in the frame-up, the more it felt like an inside job. I should have seen it coming. BB had sold me out, and now he wanted to finish what he'd started. The garage was dead. BB showed up in his tailor-made suit, gold watch, and cufflinks to match. All way beyond a cop's pay. Maxi. Oozing suave charm. He was guilty as hell. What the hell does BB stand for, anyway? Backstabbing bastard? Come on, don't be like that. Have a cigar. I don't smoke. Maxie, you have no idea how big this is. It's huge. You have no idea. I think I do. You're a bribe-taken bent cop who sold out his partner. Those mobsters in the subway were a dead giveaway. Hard to miss. Bet it was exactly like this with Alex. Up close and personal. You can't win this one, Max. No, but I can make damn sure none of you do either. BB turned out to be another cardboard cutout bad guy. A bad cop on the take. A cowardly right-hand man fleeing from the scene, leaving his paid thugs to do his dirty work. Thugs to do his dirty work. Jesus, that guy took a lot of shots. Uh. Wait, what? What did the hell just happen?
Ah, oh, fuck you. Oh, come on. What the fuck is that thing? Is that an auto shotgun? Is that what that is? A jackhammer. Oh, come on. Hey. 
Okay. Uh, I don't want to use the jackhammer anymore. It is not a shotgun, by the way. What the fucking Christ? Is he a boss? You know, I really hate people who refuse to see the inevitable. Refuse to do the smart thing. No, I must do the right thing. Hey, what? Where the hell did he go? Started to ring. Yeah. Max Payton. Whatever does it for you. This is Alfred Wooden. I can give you the name of your enemy. Come to the Asgard building presently. We are expecting you. <laughs> Woden was waiting for me on the steps of the old building. Mr. Payne, let's go inside. The others are anxious to begin. The others? Despite the general misconception, this building actually predates the city hall by two years, thus being the oldest municipal building still in use here at the foot of the Brooklyn Bridge. No kidding. The old man played tour guide as he led me through a dark, domed hall. The answers I was after loomed large ahead. Mr. Payne, I would like to introduce you to my colleagues in what we call the Inner Circle. You've been watching too much X-Files. You have seen the files on Project Valhalla. We can fill the gaps, provide you with the information missing from those files. We were all involved in the early stages of the project during the Gulf War. What's the catch? We would very much like to blow this thing wide open, but our hands are tied. Her name is Nicole Horn. She was the key figure in Project Valhalla. When the funding was discontinued, she simply refused to quit. She knew exactly what she had in her hands. Nicole Horn is the president of Acer Corporation. She has more than half the city in her pocket. This must be kept under wraps. If you try to go public with this, we will deny any knowledge. We need you to take her out. Afterwards, we can protect you. Make all the charges go away. That was the cue for the killer suits to kick in the doors and swarm inside. It was an impressive floor show, but I decided to leave early anyway. It was only a one-story fall. Lucky me.
One of the monitors showed what was left of the inner circle. Yeah, that was done. <clears throat> showed what was left of the inner circle. He didn't hit shit. On screen, the so-called corpse of Alfred Woden stood up, miraculously waking from his dirt nap, looking smug among his dead pals. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I didn't know how he pulled it off, but it was a pretty slick way to get out of all his promises. Most of what he had said fit too well to be a load of crap. Jesus Christ! Oh, fuck off! Oh my god, man. It's a pump shotgun. Just boom, psh, boom, psh, boom. Psh. That's all you should be able to do. You shouldn't boom. Psh, psh. I'm not really looking at it. left me a present.
Whoa, what the fuck? What the hell was that about? dreamed of revenge those dreams were always nightmares of coming close and then failing now i was close i had a name to guide me nicole horn i had nothing to lose the inner circle had jesus Damn it.
Oh, hey. I'm definitely fucked. Okay. Uh, hmm. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck off. God! Doesn't shoot, like, it randomly just doesn't shoot. You son of a bitch! My fucking piss off. <sighs> this game makes me want to. Oh, my God. Yep, he's still standing, dude.
Damn. Christ. Mine wasn't the most original approach to the problem. It wasn't as if it hadn't all been done before. An eye for an eye, the first principle of revenge. Old as dirt, still going strong. The cardinal rule in going after someone with an intention to kill was not to make it personal, which it almost always ended up being anyway. It did with me. I took my time cruising around the city in the snow. There was no hurry. I knew what I had to do now. I took my time thinking about it, building up the rage. When I was ready, I parked the stolen wheels at the front entrance of the Acer Corporation headquarters. Got out, got in, got cracking. I had a bullet with Nicole Horn's name on it. I had 10,000 bullets with the hag's name on them. She had ultra-high-tech security systems, enough mercenaries and weaponry to start World War III. There was no fear. New York disappeared behind a veil of snow. I had crossed the threshold. This was her domain, sleek and sexy and soulless, all glass and steel. A place of color-coded security key cards, metal detectors, and surveillance systems. Colder than a walk-in fridge, cold as a gun. I'm fucked from the start, aren't I? Okay. Oh, okay. Fucking jackhammer, dude. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, mother of fucking Christ. Yeah, because there's a sure way out of that, isn't there? <sighs> ah, this game is fun, man. Holy mother of Christ. I really don't know what the fuck the game wants right here. Yeah, because let's give the fucking character...
God damn it. That's frustrating. down there. That's where I really want to be. <sighs> oh, okay. I guess it didn't blow up. Spawn, dude. Oh, you fucking prick. <sighs> oh my god. Yep. Max, we've got to stop meeting like this. It will be a cold day in hell before I let a narc cop stop me. Miss Sachs, do your job. Relax, Max. You're a nice guy. 
I don't kill nice guys. You're not bad yourself. It was different when Horn wanted Punchinello dead. To cut her ties to the Mafia, he deserved to die. The same goes with her. She's the bad guy here. Her sister was whispering to her in my favor. I knew the appetites of ghosts intimately. They hungered for revenge. No! The gunshot boomed and she fell down in slow motion. She was a nice girl. Not really a stone cold killer. And now she was stone cold dead. Like religious fanatics or loyal samurai, Horn's private army was coming at me. I need backup. When the elevator came back down, Mona was gone. There was a lot of blood, but no body. Something clicked for the final time. My mind had never been so clear, as if somewhere high above the storm clouds were already gone, cold stars blazing from the black skies. God, man. elevator access to the mainframe. From there I'd be able to override the security box and get to her office. I'm fucked. <sighs> I had elevator access to the mainframe. From there I'd be able to override the security box and get to her office. So, how am I supposed to survive that? <sighs> Kill myself, apparently. That's how I'm supposed to survive it. I had no idea. The unmarked 
Chopper was Horn's pet guardian, inhuman and flawless. It was stalking me. Come on, where the fuck do you guys come from? I have no fucking ammo to do anything in this fucking game right now. Yeah, set bounty fucking two hits me with a pistol. God damn, that was fucking annoying. I fell and killed myself. What a jolly time. Alright, so... were now offline. All bets were off. The elevator would take me all the way up. Seen from this height, the night seemed to stretch on to eternity. A hint of desperation had crept into the snowstorm, as if it was trying to get it all out before the end. Of course, something hit me. Something hit me in the ass. Horn's personal computer was on. Next to the printer was a neat stack of expensive paper. Hacking through Horn's computer would have unearthed files of criminal plans, strategies for world domination, 
spy helicopter reports, illegal wiretap recordings, internet porno, all of the above. Take your pick. I really didn't care anymore. I had seen too much of it already. Valkyr had been meant to be a white-winged maiden that would lift you to a warrior's heaven, but it turned out to be a one-way demon ride to hell. The devil was in the drug. I knew. I had met him. And now I was gonna kill her. The queen of the underworld who had tried to lift herself a bit closer to heaven with her drug money. No begging, no bribes. She knew better. Honor among killers. We who are about to die. Both of us knew how this would end, in pain and suffering. All this because your wife stuck her nose into things that were none of her business. The cops were coming to take me away. The sirens were like a bad conscience I couldn't shake. It's ridiculous you've made it this far. You won't be alive when they get here. Stop him! Great. Oh, I'm dead. See ya. How about you fucking throw a grenade when I fucking tell you to throw a fucking grenade? What? He did, so... Awesome. Show me this whole fucking cutscene again, game. Jesus. <laughs> Necessary. Futile. Inevitable. Whatever. Oh, apparently I will. You're right. Jesus Christ. Max Payne, you are fighting a losing battle. You cannot survive this. You will die. Stop fighting. Make it easy for yourself. Accept your fate. You will die here. Of course he hit me. Why wouldn't he hit me?
What are you supposed to do against that? Tell me what you're supposed to do against that. Oh, come on, man. Give it a break. Oh. Of course. Fucking damage doesn't do shit. God, I'm so fucked. Seconds to lift off. 
Hello, I have a gun. Can I shoot it? final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger. And then it was all over. The storm seemed to lose its frenzy. The ragged clouds gave way to the stars above. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. We've got the building surrounded. Throw down your weapons and lie down with your hands behind your head. closer to heaven. The cops' voices were distant and muted. Freeze! NYPD! Hold it right there! My ghosts released me from their haunting. Down below, New York City glittered like diamonds on black velvet. You gave us one hell of a ride. Take him down to central booking. You heard the man. Woden was there in the crowd, standing by the sidelines. It wouldn't be over till the man with the patch would say so. He'd say the right words. I knew he would. He'd better. Woden grinned smugly. It was the grin of a winner. That made two of us. Well, I don't want to start. Okay, so that's Max Payne. Um, like I said, this is like my second playthrough. Um, I know this is like a cult game, and a lot of people love this game, and I think it's a really great game. So, uh, but I know I know it's very dedicated followers probably give me shit about it. But anyways, uh, I, I raged a lot, so I apologize for that. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to go on to Max Payne 2 um, and then Max Payne 3. Uh, I have a few other games planned, but I might or might not get to them um, depending on how uh, I feel. Uh, I don't want to give anything away, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. Take care.